Hello, welcome to episode number one of percentage changes. The application of what? Differentiation. I hope by now you have watched the couple of tutorials we had on the applications on differentiation, starting from the small change, maximum and minimum, and now we are on the percentage word increase. So the idea of a small change, what we did in the previous episode, can be used to estimate the percentage change in a relation where y is a function of x. So if x increases by r percent, then the delta x, which is the change, the increment in the x is equal to the percentage, which is this. You know, r percent is r over 100 times. So the percentage times the variable, the change in this. Then the delta divided by the x is the one we are calling the percentage. Don't forget to find the percentage. You need a change divided by the total times 100. The change divided by the total. The change in x. So the change in x divided by x times 100 give us the percentage, which is the r. So this is dividing the change by the x multiplied by 100. What you are seeing here is the same thing. What you are seeing here is the change. That change, rx is equal to this. Then the corresponding increase in y. Don't forget y is the dependent variable and x is the independent. So if I'm finding the change in the dependent, I'll have to have the corresponding change in the independent also. The independent and dependent. I guess you got the concept. All right. So y is also going to be the small change that will be in y divided by y times the 100 will give us the percentage in the y also. So basically, we are building on, on the small change, whereby we have the differentiation of the independent, the dependent variable with respect to what? The independent variable. Then you find the change that can be used. All right. So this is what we are going to rely on. So a question, an error of 3% is made in measuring the radius in centimeter of a sphere, you have to find the percentage error in the volume. So ignoring everything about percentage, let's just look at what is happening. There's a change in the radius, the measurement of the radius by 3%. We are looking for that change in what? In the volume. Remember, the change in the x, we will find the corresponding change. So the moment we know the change, which is the Delta y, we will by all means multiply by 100 if we divide. So let's build on to that. Here, we can start by let, letting the variables we want to use. So let r be the radius, then v be the volume, right? These are the two variables we want to use. So in the question, we are giving the percentage increase in the radius. Not the radius itself, but the percentage that has been given unto us. So here, the delta R will be equal to, you see it here, the, the change. This is the change, the percentage. And the percentage is what? 3. Multiplying the quantity that we are having each change. And that will be R divided by what? 100. That is the, the change we have in terms of percentage. Uh, so if that is out of the way, then let's go straight forward to volume. We can say that volume, let me just use a symbol of a sphere, is given by 4 on 3 pi r what? cube. Right? So let's differentiate in order to get the small change. So here, our dv, dr, with respect to r, 3 is coming forward, it will cancel, right? That will give us 4 pi r squared. If you differentiate the v with respect to what? The r, since pi is a constant, that is going to be what we have. 
we know that the okay let's put here the delta v over the delta r is approximately the dv over dr that is from small change so that we can look out for we already know the small change in the radius we are looking out for the small change in the volume so that you can find each percentage all right so from here making delta v the subject that will be approximately dv dr times delta r so going back into all the information we have dv dr is given to us let me just have okay let me manage here this is v right this is 4 pi r squared this is our d delta r and delta r is also here as well 3 r divided by what 100 and i believe this will be multiplying to increase so that will mean that our half 12 in the case of this multiplication pi then the r become cube divided by 100 I can use 4 to go here and go here, but we can maintain it the way it is. So now we know the small change, right? So if this small change is known, what is next? The next is to find the percentage. So hence, the percentage error in volume is going to be delta V over V, right? Times 100. So let me just speak it equals to Delta V, we know it here as 12 pi R cube divided by 100. That is this. Then this is dividing. So divided by V. Where is the V? We know V somewhere here as 4 on 3 pi to the power, okay, R to the power 3. Then times 100. I guess you follow through. This is delta V divided by V. So delta V divided by V times 100 will give us the percentage in the volume. So if that is the case, we can change this to become delta V on V equals to, I think, 12 pi R squared divided by 100 times in this case, we are flipping over. If you are flipping this over, this is going to be, all these are dividing. So 3 is going up, 4 is coming down, which this? So 3 will be up, 4 will go down, pi r cube. This is here as 1 divided by 4 on what? 3 pi r cube. You see that? So when you flip this, this 3 will be going up. Then 4 will remain with the denominator. So the pi r cube will not be in the numerator, but rather in the denominator. Then we multiply by the 100% we have here. Let's see what is happening here. 4 can go here 1. 4 can go here 3. 100 can go here and go here pi r cube this is uh 12 so i think it's also three pi r cube pi r cube will also cancel so we are left with only three times three over one 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 so that will be giving us nine percent so the increment the error so therefore the error in volume is going to be 9% is an increment. Anyway, if it is a decrease, it will be negative. So this will be one way. So don't forget, in finding the percentage increase or decrease, we need to build on from the small change. Finding the change in the variables. Then whatever change you have, divided by the variable times 100, give you the percentage change. I guess with this, the concept is a bit okay. If not, Come back for the next episode where we pick extra questions to digest the concept. Like, share, 
comment and subscribe.